Okay, anyways. So, um, today we have a battle against the Noble Flame from our stream a few weeks ago. And, uh, I'm using a Sand Team. He's using a Rain Team. And he has a motherfucking Pikachu, so he automatically wins the battle. Goodbye. Psych! Anyways, so he has a Blastoise and a Pikachu, which are two Pokemon you don't normally see in OU anyways. Not, let alone on, uh, you know, rain teams and such. But I respect the fact that he's using Blastoise because Blastoise is actually pretty good in the rain. It's a good rabbit spinner. It's very bulky. And, uh, it gets Scald. It gets Ice Beam. It gets all the moves it needs. And it has, a uh, rain disc. So, you know, that makes it pretty good wall. Anyway, so, um, for, for, forget the battle for a second. Black and White 2 comes out next week, okay? Next week. I'm too excited. This is probably the only time in my entire life I've been this excited for a Pokemon game. Anyways, when that comes out... Just, just get ready, okay? So he's gonna leave with his Toxic Croak, right? And I'm gonna leave with my mate Tad. Holla! So I'm gonna go for the Will O'Wiz right off the bat, uh, hoping he'd stay in because you know I am a Rotom. But uh, I don't know. He switches out to his Politoed, which probably wasn't the best switch. I was actually predicting him to switch out to his Ferrothorn, so I just went straight for the Will O'Wiz. But uh, he brings in his Politoed, so now he's gonna go for the Focus Blast, right? Yeah. And then he's gonna get a critical hit at the same time. But I don't even care because he left me with 69 HP. As long as you don't hit me again, I don't really care at all. Ugh. So here I predicted him to switch in his Pikachu. I thought he maybe brought in his Politoed to try and bait me to go for the Volt Switch. And then he could switch in his Pikachu and get the uh, Lightning Rod boost. But I don't fall for that. But he didn't do what I thought he was going to do anyways. So I guess he won that. So anyways, I'm going to uh, switch out. And I'm going to go out to my Jirachi. Just to, you know, to wall his Politoed. But he switches out to his Blastoise. He goes for the Protect. Now he's going to switch out to his Ferrothorn. I'm going to go for the Body Slam. <laughs> why, is this, why is this female Ferrothorn named Keith? Keith Sweat. Anyway, so I go for the Body Slam, paralyze that bitch. And, um, I think he just set up his Stealth Rocks, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really, I don't know. Anyways, oh, now he sets up his Stealth Rocks. Derp. Anyway, so, um, I'm gonna go out to my Shaktis, which is the Cacturn on my team, as he goes out to his Gyarados. Now I'm gonna go for the Substitute, because, uh, Substitute, Cacturn, and the Sand is pretty good. But, um, his Gyarados has Intimidate, which is, uh, not good for me, because... Now, my Seed Bombs won't be doing as much as they normally would. So, the Seed Bomb's going to do about 30%, I'd say. Is that... Eh, yeah, that's about 30%. Maybe a little more. So, uh, yeah, if he didn't have the Intimidate on me, that would probably be a 2 at KO. So, um, he's going to go for the Ice Fang after going for the Dragon Dance and uh, break my sub. I'm going to go for another Seed Bomb. It's going to do about 30 more percent. And uh, he's left with about 40% now. So, um, what I'm going to do now is go for Seed Bomb again. I thought he'd go for the Ice Fang and kill me. But, uh... It turns out that he overpredicted, probably predicted my Jirachi to come back in to wall his Ice Fang. And um, he ends up going for the Earthquake. Doesn't do much to me. Now I'm going to be able to get off another Seed Bomb. Then I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch and take him out. So he kind of messed up there, but... Blame it on the goose. Got you feeling loose. <laughs> anyway, so I could have gone for the Sucker Punch there, but that would have been bad seeing as how he has Substitute. So I just decided to switch in my special wall Jirachi and take on this Pikachu here. Because we all know Pikachu is a big-ass threat. L look at this right now. Look how much this Thunder does. I'm fully specially defensive. And it did almost half. Half! Half! Do you know how much special defense Jirachi has? I don't think you do. I really don't. Because that, that did a lot. That did a lot of damage. Anyways, um, he's going to go for the Substitute again. He's probably trying to, uh, you know, stall for the Parahax. But, uh, you know, hopefully I won't get it. So that he doesn't annihilate my entire family with that Thunder. So I was going to switch out back to Keith Sweat. I don't get the Parahax again, so it's probably better for him that he switched out there. I'm going to take some Iron Barbs damage, though, because I touched that Spike Ball over there across the field. And um, I forgot what I do here. I think I go for the Wish. Pretty sure I go for the Wish. So um, he's going to switch out and go out to his Toxic Crow, because I do indeed go for the Wish. So now, hoping that he won't go for the Substitute, I'm going to go for the Body Slam just to try and paralyze that thing. But he switches back out to Keith. <laughs> Why is it called Keith? <laughs> Anyways, so, um, yeah, he switches back out to his Feral Thorn here. I get my uh, HP back from the Wish, and I'm not sure what he wants to do. He might want to Leech Seed. He might want to set up Spikes. So, I don't, since I'm not sure what he wants to do, I'm going to go out to my uh, um, Fortress here, my Bagpipes. And uh, he actually gets the Parahex, so I don't really get to see what he wanted to do, but it doesn't really matter at this point. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Rapid Spin as he switches out to his Toxic Croak, probably thinking he can set up on me. But, but, I have the Earthquake. It's fine. <laughs> so he probably thought he could set up on me. Uh, most fortresses do carry the gyro ball, which he could probably use, uh, you know, be more useful for in his situation since he could probably set up more easily 
and uh, Drain Punch me and all that stuff. But mine does carry the Earthquake for Heatran specifically, Jirachi, all that stuff that like to switch into, uh, you know, Fortress. But uh, anyways, my earth first Earthquake does quite a bit. My second one does the same amount, but since he has Drain Punch and got a little bit of HP back, uh, he's actually going to be able to live the second uh, Earthquake. So I'm just going to stay and go for Earthquake again. He's not going to be able to live this one. Uh, he gets a little bit of HP back from the Drain Punch, but it doesn't even matter at this point because I'm just going to go for the Earthquake again and take him out. So I took out his Toxic Croak, which was uh, along with Pikachu, the other only Pokemon I was worried about. I, he did have that Gyarados, but I took that out already, so that's not a problem anymore. So uh, obviously Pikachu is a big ass threat, so I'm going to switch out to my You Mad Breh. He's going to go for the Thunder, and it is going to do a holy, holy shit! Pikachu, why are you so powerful? <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to go for the Body Slam, and um, luckily for me, I don't get the Parahex. Oh my gosh, if I got the Parahex, Pikachu probably would have swept my entire team. Anyways, he's going to switch out and go out to Keith. We meet again. Why are you female? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, so um, yeah, I get some Iron Barbs damage because, you know, Keith likes to uh, stab people and stuff. I'm going to get the Parahex now, so I'm glad. Oh my lord, I'm glad Pikachu switched out. So, um... I had actually meant to go for the wish there so that I could switch in my uh, shack this safely, but uh, I wasn't able to pull that off, so I'm just going to switch into him directly. And I do take a lot of damage from this power whip because uh, Cacturn doesn't really have the best defense at all. Even though it's a cactus, you'd think a cactus had some good defense. It has freaking thorns all over its body. That doesn't count for defense at all. Anyway, so I'll go for the substitute, right? And I get my sub broken by the power whip and then I'm gonna go for the drain punch because I really have no other choice and I believe he gets the parahex here because I'm still alive after this turn Chia. <laughs> so um, yeah luckily for me he gets the parahex I'm gonna stay and keep going for drain punch until I have enough to go for a substitute safely but uh, he lets his Pikachu die so that was a big mistake I would have saved that Pikachu because the only thing I had to stop this Pikachu okay I did have a Gliscor and I did have a Tyranitar but I wasn't sure if his Pikachu was faster than my Gliscor, which it probably was, so he could have killed me with HP Ice. Tyranitar can take a Thunder, but I didn't want to switch it in because I just didn't. But now I'm going to switch it in. Hourglass all day, son. And uh, I switched it in just to get the Sand up, you know, kill that uh, Politoed more quickly. And uh, my Bagpipes is going to switch in, and it's going to evade. <laughs> his Hydro Pump didn't miss. My Bagpipes are just very evasive chia so i'm gonna go for the uh rabbit spin as he goes for the dragon tail and i was like what why dragon tail you have roar roar is better but uh luckily for me he doesn't have anything to hit my gliscor with but i did not know that at this point in the battle so i'm just gonna switch out to my jirachi but right there since he switched his blastoise out from my gliscor that just made it extremely obvious that he didn't have anything for my gliscor you know what i'm saying because it doesn't make any sense for a uh, Blastoise, a Pokemon that's normally wall Gliscor, to switch out from it. So that, for that reason, I knew that I had the game in the bag as soon as I let something die and uh, as soon as I let something uh, allow my Gliscor to switch in, uh, you know, shit. I'm overly explaining myself. You guys know this stuff. <laughs> so basically what I'm trying to say is, as soon as my Gliscor has the opportunity to switch in, um, you know, unharmed, then it should be a good game because his last, he only has like, what, does he have three Pokemon left or two Pokemon? I'm not even sure at this point. But, um, uh, so I bring in my Dominic Dawes. I go for the substitute. <laughs> and that should be good game because, like I said, he switches Blastoise out of my Gliscor, so he must not have anything to hit it with. Why do you have Dragon Tail and not like a water attack or anything? I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I really don't know what to say right now. You should have some type of water move, Ice Beam, Scald, like, Roar. Otherwise, this is going to happen a lot. <laughs> Maybe he just uses the intimidation factor of the fact that, you know, Blastoise is a water type. And, uh, you know, most Pokemon will be scared of the Ice Beam or the Scald, so they switch out without knowing that he doesn't actually have any of those moves. But, uh, that was a good game, the Noble Flame. And, uh, Black and White 2, bitch! Can't wait. I really can't wait. I really can't wait. 